Hey guys, Negative9 here, how is it going everybody? And in this video we will be talking about all the new information released in ArenaNet's most recent blog post about the Revenant, which includes the Revenant's weapons, skill bar, legendary stances, and much, much more. Let's start with some of the smaller details. So, uh, the Revenant is now confirmed to be a heavy armor class with a medium health pool. It has unique profession mechanics and its own profession resource system. Think of something like the life force on the Necromancer, basically. Um, its color scheme is also listed as red, black, and misty white, according to the blog post. The Revenant is said to have a constant connection to the mists, and this affects gameplay in a number of different ways. First of all, the Revenant can choose from what the blog called a pool of legends to draw their power from. The Revenant is able to have two legends chosen at one time, one active legend and one inactive legend, which you can swap using your F1. The Revenant does not have weapon swapping, however your active legend will determine your utility skills, which are basically the skills on the right side of your skill bar. You will also have an energy bar tied to your legend, which is what basically powers your skills. You will have low energy cost skills that you can use frequently, and high energy cost skills that you can only use occasionally. This seems very similar to the mana resource in a lot of other MMOs. There will be certain legends that have what are called upkeep skills, which are skills that will cause you to lose the ability to regenerate your energy or put you into what they called a degeneration state while they are active. These will last until you run out of energy or you toggle them off. And now we can move on to weapons, probably something that a lot of people are really eager to, to get into and get more information about. So, uh, in this blog, ArenaNet revealed only three of the Revenant's weapons, so there are still more to be revealed later on, but the weapons they confirmed are the hammer, the mace, and the axe. ArenaNet made it a big point that they wanted the Revenant to use these weapons in a unique and different, different ways than um, the other classes so you don't feel like just another guardian or warrior. They want the Revenant to be totally one of a kind and easily distinguishable from all the other classes that use those weapons. Let's start talking about the hammer. Usually the hammer is thought of as a big, slow melee weapon, but on the Revenant it's a powerful ranged weapon, surprisingly. With the hammer you will be able to throw magical hammers at your enemies, create massive zones of destructions, and preemptively control your foe. The skill Coalescence of Ruin will create a cascading attack that shoots out from your character with its damage rising as the distance it travels increases. With the hammer you will have another skill called Field of the Mists which creates a field that blocks incoming projectiles similar to the thief's smokescreen ability except that the Revenant's field moves with the player so it is constantly in front of him blocking everything that shoots at him. The second weapon revealed to us today, the mace, is supposed to be designed to work very well with the axe as they both have directional attacks. This creates a playstyle that will allow you to be ultra aware of your positioning, or make you be ultra aware of your positioning rather. Um, the skill Manifest Toxin, um, coming with the mace, is part of an auto attack chain that chains your target and enemies behind it, so you have to line up your attacks for maximum effect. On the other side of things, the blog says that the axe is more about utility than the damage. This is quite evident when you look at the Temporal Rift skill, which slices into the mist, creating a rift that will collapse in on itself, pulling in nearby enemies. Another directional skill that is meant to complement the other skills on your bar. They elaborated a little bit more on how legends will affect your skills and your playstyle by giving examples of the Legendary Demon Stance and the Legendary Dwarf Stance. Let's start with the Legendary Demon Stance. This stance focuses on Condition Manipulation. Instead of doing damage with your conditions, your goal as a Revenant is to accumulate conditions which determine how strong your Demon Legend skills will become. While in this stance, you'll have an upkeep skill called Embrace the Darkness, with which you spread the conditions on you to your enemies, which is an interesting way to think about things. So you cast harmful conditions on yourself and spread them to everyone nearby, which, um, which is something we haven't really seen yet in uh, Guild Wars 2. And finally, Legendary Dwarf Stance. With this stance, you will become very tanky, allowing you to be what they called a frontline presence. By activating Vengeful Hammers, you will summon Dwarven Hammers to circle around you and follow your character while doing damage to anyone who gets close. Now, now that we've known or can tell what all these skills are supposed to look like, if you go back into the uh, trailers for World v. World or 
not World of World, but just all the trailers for Heart of Thorns so far, if you look really closely, you can actually start to see some of these skills popping up, which is really cool to see. So, um, that's basically all I have time for in this video. I didn't go over every tiny little bit of detail because I don't really want to just read the blog post over again to you guys. Um, but if you want to read the whole thing, there's a couple more tidbits of information that you guys would probably like to know. So I'll have that link in the description. But besides that, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time.